I wanted to talk about the Disneyland issue. I've been seeing a lot of hogs squealing about Disneyland, uh, or not Disneyland in particular, Disney uh, more specifically, and I don't really know what they're mad about. At first, I thought that they were mad because they came out against the don't say gay bill because the left was calling out their contributions to right-wing politicians in Florida who actually supported the don't say gay bill. I genuinely am confused, but now it seems like their outrage with Disney has grown. Uh, and now there's claims, or allegations, I should say, that Disney wants to indoctrinate your children. And there was, um, we'll be charitable and call it an informative clip from Megyn Kelly, who breaks down the situation. And I say it's informative not because we learn anything from her, because you never learn anything from Megyn Kelly. But it's informative in the sense that we kind of gauge what they're so mad about. And of course, it's about nothing, but uh, l let's listen to what she has to say and why we should be very, very mad at Disney. Chris Rufo, the one and only guy, he's been I invaluable. Just, this is really mean, but that is the worst introduction to any YouTube video series ever. I guess this isn't technically a YouTube show, but I, I hate that intro. Totally neither here nor there, but I had to say it, I'm sorry. And he and this whole critical race theory fight and so on. He got a hold of some absolutely insane comments from Disney's top executives in an internal meeting. Uh, and take a listen to one of them. This is Carrie Burke, who is the president of Disney. Okay, so these comments are supposed to be insane. So how insane will these comments be? Uh, spoiler alert, not very insane. And now that I'm critiquing uh, the aesthetics of the show, I've got to say, doesn't this M for Megan, doesn't that look like the M in Super Mario Sunshine? I don't, I don't know. What, the aesthetics of this show are completely fucked up. Uh, but nonetheless, take it away. I'm, I'm here as a mother of, of two queer children, actually. Um, uh, one transgender child. Um, um, and one pansexual child, um, and and also as a leader. Um, one of our execs stood up and said, you know, we only have a handful of queer leads in our content. And I went, what? I, that can't be true. And I, and, I, and I realized- Does Disney have any leads in their content? I feel like I can't think of a single movie with a gay character. I, I don't know. Either way, for her to be shocked by that, I feel like it's not that shocking. But the fact that she has LGBTQ plus children is encouraging because I'm assuming that in this, you know, uh, influential position that she's in, she'd want to make the world a better place for them. So, you know, I, I hope that she responds and actually does have more representation for LGBTQ plus people. But I'll shut up and let her finish. It it actually is true. And I hope this is a moment where she... Um, the 50% of the tears, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> are coming. Um, uh, we don't, we just don't allow each other to go backwards. That's it. So Megan Kelly said that this was insane. What she said was, I have LGBTQ plus children and uh, we don't have a lot of queer leads. Okay, that's insane because why? What's insane about that i don't understand but i'm sure that megan kelly is going to explain to us why it's so insane that the mom of queer kids would care about lgbtq plus representation yeah so disney and she have apparently made clear that they are going to be putting as many you know the acronym they use now is so long lgbtqia two spirit goes on and on and on all these folks in as many Disney movies as possible they that they want these characters to become ubiquitous in the Disney movies now why would that be a bad thing well it's a bad thing because dipshits like Megan Kelly think that if kids know that gay people and trans people exist then they're gonna see that and think wow that looks so cool I'm gonna try it now just speaking from my personal experience as a homosexual I see heterosexuality thrown in my face in every single television show and movie that I watch. Not once did I think, hmm, that's tempting. I want to try that. I want to try heterosexuality. Not once. So for whatever reason, they don't think that they chose their sexuality, but they think that gay people can choose their sexuality, right? They haven't, uh, they, they didn't choose their gender identity, but they think that trans people just flippantly choose to be trans. It's so bizarre to me. Um, and that's the only reason why you'd be against this unless 
you hate gay people and you don't want them to be seen. You want to hide them away from society because you think they're a danger to children. So whatever the you know implication is, whatever her reasoning is here, Megyn Kelly is basically coming, coming out and saying, I'm a fucking bigot and I'm a huge piece of shit. Um, and it, it's shocking because she actually has a gay friend and we'll talk about him in a second here. His name is David Rubin. Um, so you think that she would want LGBTQ plus acceptance and, you know, just casually putting in queer characters into television shows that helps to normalize it. So you think that she'd be all for this. It's harmless, but yet she's saying, no, this is bad. And I think that is totally unnecessary and out of line. I don't want you to Why? work out your wokeism on my kid. Okay? Do a movie that... What does the wokeism even mean? Teaching your kid that gay people exist? Don't you think that they're going to find out eventually? And perhaps if they find out, maybe they learn it through a Disney movie that, oh, okay, that gay character, the, you know, the little girl in this movie with two mommies is just like me. I have a mommy and daddy. She has a mommy and a mommy, but we're kind of the same. I, I guess uh, what I'm trying to say is like, there's no reason to be against this unless you are quite literally homophobic. Is tolerance, kindness, support for your fellow human beings. Don't shove two spirit people, which by the way is not a thing, and pansexual. I had to look what? it up. You know what that means? It means you're attracted to everybody. So you're bi, I guess. Well, that's that's not a thing. That's already a thing. They already have a letter. <laughs> I'm sorry, but please, all these glommers who just want attention. It's a new thing. Remember the Willow Smith one? And she was like, I'm this thing that means um, I just, I only want to have sex with people I care about. Well, you mean normal? That's normal. Like, anyway, uh, it's good to know. I We owe a debt of gratitude to Carrie Burke for being so explicit about their plans uh, and to certainly Chris Rufo for letting us all know about them. Beware. You beware. Don't put a Disney movie on in front of your kid before you fully come to understand what it's going to be promoting, who it's going to be starring, and what agenda they're pushing. They're no longer the Disney of yesterday. Wow, and she ends with the Mario Sunshine M. Hey. This is the Mario Sunshine logo. Um, so Christopher Rufo with this bombshell story um, that Disney wants more LGBTQ plus representation in their shows. That's a good thing. Again, it's only bad if you hate gay people and think that they are inferior to heterosexual or non-queer people. Um, but, you know, what's weird is that, as I stated, Megan uh, Kelly, she has a gay friend, Dave Rubin. And when Dave Rubin announced that he and his husband were having kids, she squealed on Twitter. She cheered it on. She said it was great. She congratulated him. But what exactly does gay Rubin have to say about all this? Because I'm sure that he's hurt that his friend here is against gay people to the point where she thinks that you shouldn't even include harmless LGBTQ plus representation um, in, in movies. Well, Dave Rubin is actually siding with her. <laughs> Dave Rubin canceled his Disney Plus subscription because of this. I kid you not. Dave Rubin is a homosexual. Okay? Just canceled Disney Plus. The only way to defeat these people is to stop playing along with them. Had it for when our nieces and nephews are here. Wait a second. Hang on, Dave. You have your nieces and nephews at your house, but aren't they learning that you're married to a man? See, what I do to make sure that we're not uh, introducing kids to homosexuality or potentially grooming them is whenever my nieces and nephews come over, I put a garbage bag over my husband and I just stand him in the corner so that way they don't know that he exists. That's the only way that you could play it safe. But apparently Dave Rubin is exposing his nieces and nephews to uh, his gay, quote, lifestyle in the same way that Disney wants to expose children to homosexuality. But yet he's mad at them for doing what he does and he's canceling his disney plus subscription because of it and um he shows here uh we're sorry to see you go your disney plus subscription has been canceled okay thanks bye <laughs> folks he is owning them so hard i bet that disney is like god we lost dave rubin we fucking lost dave rubin what are we gonna do my brain is still in recovery mode from taking in so many high level important ideas we need to get dave rubin back Maybe the way that we get this gay man back is by being homophobic. Fund more anti-gay politicians that can legislate against his lifestyle. So that way we get his approval. I just, it's so ridiculous to think that this is a gay conservative and he has to pretend to be outraged that Disney is simply going to put more LGBTQ plus representation. And I'll believe it when I see it, to be clear. 
But uh, it's just they're they're fucking beyond parody. Now, of course, we have uh, Ben Shabibo chiming in saying, so Disney's business plan is now radical activists are greater than parents. Let's see how well it works out for them, because you're caving to radical activists if you simply let kids know that gay people exist. And here's like a side character who's gay. That's caving to radical activists. See, the reason why uh, Ben Shapiro came to this conclusion is because that's tantamount to brainwashing. So, uh, you know, Ben Shabibo would never want to brainwash children, right? Oh, wait, except he's doing his own counter brainwashing. Ben Shapiro announces Daily Wire will create kids content to compete with woke Disney. It's woke to just acknowledge that gay people exist on this planet and trans people exist. That's woke. So he is doing his own thing. Uh, ben Shapiro announced that his company, The Daily Wire, will now create kids content in order to provide alternatives for parents fed up with woke Disney. America's biggest corporations are being held hostage by the woke because they are cowards, he said on Thursday's episode of The Ben Shapiro Show. They are absolute cowards. So what he's going to do, because indoctrination is bad, is indoctrinate children. <laughs> <laughs> so indoctrination for me but not thee now of course we have other individuals chiming in so uh charlie kirk here who has been talking a lot about gay issues lately so this is from jason campbell charlie kirk claims disney is trying to make your children gay see because it works that way you can actually make a child gay just by letting them know that gay people exist see for me it didn't work because my parents, they repeatedly showed me heterosexuality. They had a loving relationship throughout all of my life. They showed me movies and television shows with straight people. So they tried to make me straight, but it didn't work for me. But apparently, it works the opposite way, where you can turn kids gay. So uh, let's listen to what he has to say. Why else would you, uh, you know, expose them to do dudes or women kissing in a Disney film? So let's hear what he has to say. It's, I know I keep resorting back to it, but Christopher Caldwell really depicted the danger of having out of control liberation movements that are not anchored in legitimate grievance. Christopher Caldwell in the book Age of Entitlement warned us that the trajectory that we are on is the very groups that allegedly want liberation will soon become the tyrants themselves. In fact, it will happen almost immediately, almost overnight. And they're tyrannical because what? We want equal rights, equal representation. We just don't want you to treat us like shit. That's tyranny, according to this drama queen. That once the groups are formed, it's not like all of a sudden the ACLU and the LGBT groups like disassemble, like, oh, we got gay marriage done. Now we can just put our paperwork away. No, it's an entire cottage industry of outrage. You could just stop fucking with gay people. Like, I'm sure that all of these organizations, these LGBTQ plus organizations would lose prominence if Republicans just fucked off. But they're not fucking off. They refuse to fuck off. So... So long as you and your cottage industry of right-wing organizations try to attack gay people, those organizations will exist because they are necessary. They will cease to exist when they are no longer necessary. You can speed up that process by fucking off and stop being homophobic and transphobic, but he won't do that because he's hateful. Barry, it gave them meaning and purpose. And so now it's just, that's not about making gay marriage legal. It's legal. No, it, it, no, these groups don't give us meaning and purpose. The fight doesn't give us meaning and purpose. I don't want to have this fight. I want to live my life. I want to play video games, all right? I want to grind more in Elden Ring. I want to play Tiny Tina's Wonderland. I want to play video games. I want to not have to worry about this shit. But you dumb motherfuckers, because Republicans have nothing else to offer people, they have nothing to say about climate change, healthcare, education, housing crisis, uh, the, the housing crisis in this country. Well, they have to keep everyone dragged down into the culture war. So your unwillingness to move on is prolonging this. And I feel like he's got to understand this. Otherwise, you shouldn't be a political commentator, right? These groups go away once you stop trying to subjugate gays and trans people to second-class citizenship status. Every single state. That was always their big fight. No, no now it's about making... And I've got to say real quick, uh, sorry, Charlie, but uh, you're wearing a pink shirt. Does that not violate gender norms? Take off that shirt, you Nancy boy. What are you, a, a pansy? Gay! Gay. Why else, no, why else would you want to have two dudes or two women kissing in a Disney film? What is the agenda? To expose them to it or to increase the ranks of the LGBTQ community? Why would you want to have a mommy and a daddy kissing in a film? Is it 
necessary? Do you have to have that? Well, not necessarily, but if you show a child in a film and you depict their parents as loving, then you kind of teach kids, hey, that's normal, that's good, love is good, right? Love is a beautiful thing to celebrate. So why expose them to heterosexual people kissing in films? I mean, you're just a bigot. What is the process? Normalization. Before this sort of nonsense was happening. So why exactly are you doing this? Normalization. They're like, well, to reduce we want to have four-year-olds that have, you know, homosexual attractions to know that they're not alone when they're watching movies. Like, really? Who's saying that? Is anyone saying that? Nobody's saying that. This is a straw man. And why are you so mad? Look at his face. Look at this tiny little face. He's so fucking angry. He's molding right now. Why are you so angered by this? Four-year-old? Like, four-year-olds are eating dirt. Like, I don't think they're exactly... I wasn't eating dirt. Making very... Maybe you were eating dirt, motherfucker, but when I was four years old, I was very smart. I was intelligent. You were probably eating your own shit when you were four because you're a dumbass. Got them. Deep arguments about what they're sexually attracted to. But they want... Nobody has deep arguments, but for me, and I've talked about this before, when I was like five years old, I remember my mom would say like a casual comment about, hey, well, one day when you're a grown-up and you have a girlfriend or a wife, you know, I remember arguing with her saying, what? I don't want a wife. I want a husband or a boyfriend like you. I don't, I don't want a girlfriend or a wife. I don't want that. And, you know, you're five. You don't know very much. But to me, that just came natural to me. Nobody you know, superimposed that idea in my head. Nobody primed me to think that that was what I should be or who I should be. That's just the way that I am. So no kid is having, you know, these deep thoughts about this. He's just making all of this up. Listen, I've got to say this. If you think that exposing children to homosexuality can turn them gay, that's weird. That's extremely weird. If you think that you choose your sexual orientation then that tells me that he believes he chose his sexual orientation. Perhaps he has same-sex attractions that he's hiding. And he, he's saying, or thinking maybe, since I'm choosing to suppress them, then other people can do the same. Maybe he's mad that he can't live out his gay fantasies. I don't fucking know. But you can't choose your sexual orientation. If Charlie Kirk really is straight, he could easily test out this theory. Anyone can test it out. Okay, if you want to change your sexual orientation, try it. Go fuck someone. Charlie, go suck a dick. And enjoy it. Actually like it. Actually try to keep sucking dicks until you cultivate an attraction to men. It's not going to happen because it doesn't work that way. That's not the way that it works. You either are gay or you're not gay, right? You can't just choose or be goaded into having some sort of a lifestyle or sexual preference. That's not how it works. And that's why anyone who thinks that that is the case and... Uh, supposes that that's the case, I think that they're pretty sus. My gaydar goes off, and I think, oh, wow, that sounds really gay. You think that people choose to be gay? Well, did you choose to be straight? And maybe if you can, like, back him into, into a corner, he'd say, well, yeah, I have same-sex attractions, but I'm not acting on them. That's what the, uh, I forgot the name it's, of the pastor, I I but TYT interviewed him, and he was talking about how being gay is a choice, and he actually admitted this is like a clip from i don't know like 2010 2011 he admitted to jenk in this interview that he did have same-sex attractions he just didn't act on them so they believe that you can choose to be gay so pastor manny i'm getting a sense for overall from your descriptions here that you, you think that being gay is a lifestyle choice so it's a choice that a lot of people would want to make you think that semen is delicious to a lot of people and and these are choices that people make so it seems like perhaps if it wasn't for the bible and the teachings of moses etc that that you might have been tempted by those choices as well. Uh, is that is that the case? Have you been tempted? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. No, 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 no doubt about it. Gay. 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 And I don't want to like psychoanalyze Charlie Kirk too much because all of this is fucking stupid and pointless. Um, basically, what we want, the gays, the alphabet mafia, if I can speak for all of us, is for you to fuck off, leave us alone, Stop legislating uh, laws that turn us into second-class citizens. Leave trans people alone. Stop targeting trans children. Okay, let the few trans children that exist play sports if they even want to. Fuck off, and we won't talk about this shit, right? We won't have to push for this shit. But because you are relentless and you refuse to focus on real issues, you try to take us back. Like, society 
has largely moved on. The GOP has been forced to tactically retreat when it comes to LGBTQ plus issues, or at least on gay marriage, because they know it's a losing issue. 70% of Americans support LGBTQ plus marriage, and that includes a majority of Republicans. So they know that this is a losing issue. So they're trying to adapt, right? Rather than just saying, well, I'm against same-sex marriage. Now they're saying, oh, well, we've got to protect children. And Disney, they want to go after your kids and teach them that being gay is a good thing. Or if that's not what they're teaching, then they're teaching that, you know, um, homosexuality is, um, it's wrong to expose kids to that. Well, why? Well, they won't just say, because I'm a bigot and I think that gay people are icky. They won't admit it, so they hide behind their agenda. Now, while we're on the subject of Charlie Kirk, um, he talked about how Disney employees are holding the company hostage. Yes, the employees of Disney are holding this multi-billion dollar company hostage because they demand better from their employer who's contributing to politicians in Florida who are legislating against their existence. Disney came out aggressively again, and they said, quote, Florida's HB 1557, also known as the Don't Say Gay Bill, should never have passed and should never be signed into law. What is that, a threat, Disney? Maybe you're not as powerful as you think you are, you degenerates. Our goal as a company <clears throat> is for this law to be repealed by the legislature or struck down in the courts. Won't be. And we remain committed to supporting the national and state organizations working to achieve that. We are dedicated to standing up for the rights and safety of the LGBTQ plus members of the Disney family as the LGBTQ plus community in Florida and across the country. I mean, have you read the bill, Disney? Have the you read the bill? Is no, or maybe they have, but here's the thing. And I love how like he's he's basically supposing that Disney is woke. Disney donated to the Republican politicians who supported this legislation, and then they got caught. They got caught with their hands in the anti-gay cookie jar, and then they're backpedaling. But because they're backpedaling, he's outraged. And now conservatives, Ben Shapiro, Megyn Kelly, Dave Rubin, now what are they doing? They're trying to cancel Disney because Disney has, quote, gone woke. I don't even know what gone woke means. What, because Disney changes the fucking mouse logo to a rainbow every June? Um, they're woke. I mean, companies do that because it's marketing. They pander to gay people because they want uh, gay people to spend money at the, these businesses. But, you know, the rest of the year, they go back to donating to these anti-gay politicians. And finally, when they get caught and called out, then these conservative snowflakes are outraged that Disney would dare backpedal or otherwise uh, known as going woke. Disney and Bob Chappick, they're held hostage by their gay employees. It's just that simple. <laughs> if only they we in the lived creep. in a world where employees had that much power, if employees had that much leverage over their employers, wouldn't that be amazing? Imagine how different the country would be if employees actually were able to hold their company's executives hostage. I know that, you know, any large corporation that I worked at, they didn't give a fuck about us. They didn't care if we died. We literally could drop dead in their store. And the only thing they would care about is if they were liable. They don't give a shit about their employees. So it's hilariously out of touch for him to suggest this. Has he ever worked a normal job in his life? I can't imagine he ever worked at like Taco Bell or McDonald's, just worked at jobs that uh, normal people work at. I, I feel like there's no way. Of world, and I'm not I'm not accusing them of this, just the way it is. They're in the arts and entertainment, and there's a disproportionate amount of gay people that work in that community. And so they're making a huge mess of it. And so Disney is pandering to their employees because they don't want more employee walkouts. They still need it to is pandering. He's right about that. Time. And they know, I mean, it would basically be like Remington, or it would be like any a major a ammunition manufacturer basically not coming out against an anti-gun bill. Again, I'm not, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. It's the way it is. Disney has a lot of gay people that work for them. Now, for whatever reason, they? these gay people feel really motivated, the employees of Disney, that six-year-olds need to learn about their incredibly graphic sexual activity. Why that? So he's actually trotting out the gays are pedophiles trope. It's not that gays simply want representation so that way kids aren't taught that being gay is bad, right? Because you teach children to hate. Hate is something that isn't innate. Hate is learned. So by simply having LGBTQ plus representation, you mitigate that, right? But him, he sees this and because he's a hateful bigot, he thinks, oh, well, you know what? It's not just that gays want equal representation in pop culture, they actually literally want to teach children about sex. 
Name one person who's advocated for this publicly. Name them. Name them. I'll debunk them. I'm against them. But I don't think that this is a real person that exists. This is a straw man that he's arguing against because this is just pure hatred. He just hates gay people. And again, I don't know if he feels any same-sex attraction himself. Maybe that's why he feels so strongly about it. I think that he protests a little bit too much about this.